Hey guys, John here. So, we are headed to Texas to go look at the eclipse. So, with the San Jose airport right now, in the lounge, splitting for our flights, gonna be boarding in about 30 minutes. I will take you guys along the journey, and hopefully we'll go over some of the tech goodies that I brought on this trip to uh, test out and have a review. I brought the DJI Osmo 3, as well as the Asus G14, the 2024 edition. I have uh, my Apple Vision Pro as well that I'm going to try on the airplane. So we'll try all those things. I'll have a separate review and everything, but we'll see how everything looks. I've had the Apple Vision Pro since it came out, but I'm still figuring out the best ways to use it. One thing I wanted to try was using it on a plane, like my recent trip to Texas. First, I had trouble finding the right mode to use. It's not just regular airplane mode. There's something called travel mode you need for flying. The Apple Vision Pro has sensors that help it work better on a plane. If it senses you're flying, it asks if you want to use travel mode to make things easier. You can turn it on when the device suggests it or through the control center. If you don't use travel mode while the plane is moving, the device won't work well. The best parts of using the Apple Vision Pro on the plane were watching movies and changing the view around me. It was like having a big TV with me, but I felt a bit worried about not paying attention to my surroundings when I changed the view too much. Even though my flight was 4 hours, I kept falling asleep with the Apple Vision Pro on my face, like when I fall asleep in front of the TV at home. I think the Apple Vision Pro could be great for longer flights, but it might not be worth it for shorter trips like mine to Texas. So we're supposed to go to the Finley's Buffet, but we're making a stop at the Natural History Museum for free museum day. For our recent trip to Texas, I decided to put the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 to the test. The majority of the footage you're seeing in this video was captured using this incredible pocket gimbal camera. Equipped with a 1 inch sensor, it delivers stunningly stabilized footage in both daytime and low light conditions. Featuring a 2 inch OLED screen that can be flipped for portrait on landscape orientation, I mainly used it in landscape mode to document our journey. I bought the Creator combo which includes a DJI Mic 2 transmitter, battery handle, mini tripod, and carrying bag. The DJI Mic 2 seamlessly syncs with the Pocket 3 and was able to capture clean audio without any hassle. The carrying bag proved invaluable for keeping all the essential accessories organized and secured throughout our travels. Due to the high resolution footage the Pocket 3 records, I invested it in new memory cards as my old ones couldn't keep up. Amazingly, the Pocket 3's battery lasted several hours without the need for the extra battery handle. When it was time to recharge, I was surprised to find it went from 0 to 100% in less than 30 minutes. In conclusion, I think the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is one of the best travel cameras you can buy. Stay tuned for a more detailed review coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for that video. Finally made it to the Vietnamese buffet. Finish with the Vietnamese buffet. Now we go get some coffee. We just finished eating at Kim Sung. Don't know if it's worth thirty dollars. Well, we didn't eat our thirty dollars worth for sure. Next, we head to Austin. to 
Bucky's to get some nuts. guys John here so we just got into Austin Texas yesterday for the solar eclipse but check out the weather that we're facing nothing but clouds for as far as the eyes can see so we have two options right now we can either stay in Austin and hope that the sky is clear a little bit uh, there are two different types of clouds there's high clouds and low clouds both of them can obstruct the visibility but uh, especially the low clouds so we're really hoping for the low clouds to clear up and then even if there are some high clouds, we can still see some of the eclipse, but just not as sharp as um, if it were a clear sky. The other two options we have is to drive further north a little bit, um, maybe like an hour, hour and a half, where there are less clouds. Uh, but the problem with that is our flight back home is just a few hours after the eclipse happens. And it's going to take us about three hours to get to the airport. So even without traffic, if everything works out fine, we'll get to the airport just on time for our flight. But even if there's a little bit of traffic, then we might end up missing our flight home. So we're still deciding on what to do. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but it'd be unfortunate to travel all this way and then not be able to see the eclipse very well. So uh, we're still deciding right now. The next update is once we're in the car and then I'll let you guys know where we're headed. All right guys, the decision has been made. We're headed to Waco, Texas. Guys, we're down to the last 30 minutes or so. Managed to find a spot in Waco where it's nice and sunny right now, but it's gonna depend on the weather. See these clouds, they move, so hopefully the sun will be visible in the next 30 minutes. Distant. We are less than a minute from totality. It's getting really dark. All right. said, oh, it's happening. <gasps> Oh, holy <laughs> oh my god, it's dark! Oh, oh my god! Holy cow! You see it? Oh my god, the corona! You wanna use the binoculars? Oh, I can see it with my naked eye. We can see it. Oh my god, it really is dark. <laughs> Everything is dark. Whoa! It's so dark. It looks like. Oh, this is where you can see the. Holy cow! That was four minutes. Hey, okay, Mama, would you like to film your reaction? Was it worth the trip? Yeah, totally it was. You'll never see anything like it. Nothing else on earth like it. Very glad that the weather worked out for us. All right, we're heading back to Houston to go home. Actually made it to the airport with time to spare. The flight got delayed and also getting delayed in boarding here. 